Now do you remember who you are, what you were meant to do? It's Solid Snake, and welcome back to the final episode of Metal Gear on the MSX. Glad to know I still have the snake voice. Okay, um, so yeah, no, this is the final episode. This is it. We have, like I said, we've done everything we need to do to finally beat the game. So the first thing, yeah, we're going straight back down to sub-level 100. And with our new handy dandy key card eight, we will be all set to go. Um, so yeah, I think I mentioned this in the last one we gave us those instructions. So yeah, it was two episodes ago when Madnar told us how to destroy Metal Gear. So when we finally come across this thing, we are going to need to plant enough C4 on its legs. He said it's a 16 numbered sequence. We have 38 plastic explosives. That gives us enough for a margin of error of one. Now, thankfully, we could just die, and I think it'll respawn us at the elevator, so we can, you know, get all our stuff back. But we're doing this in one go. I'm just telling you that. I, I am. We're, we're doing this in one go. So, um, actually, I'm going to switch back to the handgun. Um... I missed the handgun entirely and went right back to plastic explosives. Okay, so yeah, key card 8. And the first thing we need to do is we need to save our friend who is about to tell us the identity of the leader of Outer Heaven. And he is right in that door over there. So let's run past the camera, go in. And that is our buddy Schneider. You might not think it's him because he looks exactly like every other guard here, but not guard, prisoner, but that is him. I believe that's supposed to be him anyways. I'm, if it's not, my head cannons is that's him because of what he says, and you'll find out now. Thank you for helping me. The Outer Heaven boss is Foxhound's commanding officer. Big boss. He's behind all of this. Don't let him trick you. So yeah, Things are kind of starting to fall into place now, aren't they? All that bad intel he's given us, all the, the terrible tips and tricks, the, the things that he's told us to do that have really just been to our detriment, it all makes sense now. Big Boss is actually the one behind Outer Heaven. Which again, if you're familiar with Metal Gear lore, that doesn't surprise you one bit. But yeah, this is the first, like, he's introduced, he's the first character you talk to in the game. He's set up as the guy to help you, and he turns on you. Obviously, nowadays, that's a pretty played-out trope. Um, and I'm not saying it's done perfectly here, but, I mean, this was back in, like, I think 1988 or something was when this game came out, so that's kind of like a first for the series. And in just a second here, we're going to see another instance of kind of a... a one of Kojima's first kind of things. So here, let's take this call real quick. This is Big Boss. Solid Snake, abort the mission. Return immediately. This is an order. Turn the power off on your Xbox 360 console at once. Over. Uh, so yeah. Uh, he's even aware of what console you're playing on. But not mine, because I'm playing this on the Xbox One, sucker. Um, but yeah, no, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm playing the game through the, um, Metal Gear Solid HD collection, um, which contains Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Snake Eater, and Snake Eater Subsistence version, or the HD version, uh, comes along with both Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 on the original MSX. That's why I'm playing it. Obviously, on the original MSX, he says, turn off the MSX. 
But since it's just text, they were able to change it to make it say, turn off the Xbox. Still really cool. That kind of, like, meta moment is similar to, like, you know, the Psycho Mantis. Um, I will move your controller with my, with your, with my mind. Not your mind, my mind. Because I'm the psychic here. Or, you know, just, you know, stuff like that. It's one of the first examples of a meta moment in gaming. I don't think it's, it may not be the first, but, you know, it's one of those early ones. Anyways, we should probably actually continue on, shouldn't we? Okay, so we just gotta run past both of these lasers, and I believe right through there is the last, like the, kind of the last obstacle before... Oh, frick, hold on, no, gas room, gas, gas chamber. Also, I don't know if I, if I trust this. Something about this looks, uh... I, I, I don't know, I feel like there's, a, there's probably a trap behind this door. I'm almost, in fact, I'm almost positive of it, yet I'm gonna still try it. Anyways, part eight. Let's put that gas in this. Yeah, that that that's a pitfall. There, you can't convince me there's not a pitfall right there. It's probably a pitfall on the other side too. But you know, we can. Uh, I think we can deal with that one a little bit uh, a little bit better than we could. You know, this room where we literally cannot move forward. So that means that's right. You guessed it. Our favorites are apparently forgotten, if you're me, Invisible Wall. And that's another classic explosive it takes to get through there. Dang, okay. I'm um, assuming... Are we safe? We're safe. Oh, thank the Lord, we're safe. Okay. Let's go through. Um, part 8. I'm assuming it's 8. It's got a... Like a wild, wild guess at this one. Yep. Can't get me this time. Oh, okay. Guess that's... But that can't be it. There's got to be more to it. Um, and yes, there is, as a matter of fact. But the mine detector, there are mines here. And yeah, it is, um, you got to kind of look at where they are quickly and remember that and get through here. Um, yeah, this, this, this last part of the game, it doesn't play fair. I mean, it's, it plays with the same rules it's always played with, but... Obviously, like, you're not going to be thinking about that. You've really got to be, like, on your toes as you finish this game up. And here we are with our last challenge before Metal Gear. This is Jennifer. You're just going to have to make a run for it. As long as you have some rations left, you'll be okay. Over. So, yeah. Um, I think there may be a hidden switch somewhere that you could hit. But obviously you can't see it, it's invisible. This is designed to be, like, you just have to run through here with the rations you've got. I think if you have full health, you can still make it through. Just barely, if you're quick. But we can't, we, we, uh, we're not gonna do that. We don't have to worry about that. But we're, we're gonna push on through. We're just gonna take the punishment and get on through so we can fight Metal Gear. And there it is. Final challenge of the... No, I keep saying the final challenge whenever it's not the final challenge, but that is Metal Gear there. Okay. I hope you remember the instructions Madnar gave us. I certainly don't. That's why I have it pulled up on my phone here right next to me to look at. So just follow along with me at home if that's what you're doing. You get out your plastic explosives and we need to place them on the right foot. The right foot. You know, I'm hoping it's actually our right and not, like, the actual right of, from the Metal Gear's perspective. Left. I think it's left. Oh, goodness. It is eating through our health right now. We need another right. Two left. Avoid the cameras if I can. Right. I'm still getting hurt by the cameras. I have rations. Left. Left. Oh. Okay, I may, I may have just lost track. I think it's right is what we have to do next. Then... Left. I think I'm safe if I stand here. Um, what if we just place left? Okay, right. Left. Final one should be right. Please work. Please work didn't work. 
Oh gosh, it didn't work. It didn't work, and we burned through so much many rations. Okay, we've got to do it over again. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I've got just enough plastic explosives to make it work. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We've got this. We've got this. Right. Oh, crap, crap. I don't think it's going to pick up. Right. Left. And over here. Get our bearings. Okay. Right. Left. Another left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Okay. Left. Right. I believe left. Right. Is it still not? What am I doing wrong? What 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 am I doing wrong? Oh gosh, it's probably it's probably something so simple that I'm missing here, and I'm not I'm not I'm not getting it right. I, I've got to just make sure left, right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that how I I, I how I don't know how that worked, but it worked. Okay, okay. Emergency, emergency. The self-destruct sequence for outer heaven has been. Initialized. All personnel are ordered to evacuate immediately. Oh, okay, we took it down. We've got our timer there. Oh my gosh, I was so scared. I was like, oh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do that whole thing over again. Okay, we can make it out. We can leave. We can leave. We can leave. Solid Snake. I've been expecting you. I am the Supreme Commander of the Foxhound Unit. And the leader of this fortress of outer heaven, Big Boss. I gave this mission to you, a rookie, thinking I could use you to fool the rest of the world. But you were too good. You went too far. Solid Snake, I'm not going down alone. I'm taking you with me. Prepare to die. And here we are, the true final boss of the game. The boss. The big boss. And boy howdy, is he not one of the tough, like, one of the trickiest bosses in the game. Look how quickly he runs around the screen. You can't even get, like, a solid hit off on him if you do this legitimately. I don't, I, but we, we gotta fight him the legitimate way. He, he, he has stood in our way. He has caused us to almost die. I don't know how many times we have to beat him. We're, we're beating him straight up in a straight up fight. Try leaving a mine here if I can trick him to going that way. I need you to go plant one there. I can't remember if mines actually cause them any damage. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I think he sets them off and then actually do anything. Fine. RC missing. Infinity Bandana. Alright. Time to go. Oh man, he's, he's... No! 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 Oh my gosh, we have to beat Metal Gear again. That was a foolish mistake. On my part. Not healing up. And I am about to pay dearly for it. As I have to beat this Metal Gear a second time. And then I have to go after Big Boss. <sighs> but I can't turn back. Not after the hell we have crawled through. Between these three buildings. 
the pitfalls, the pit bulls, the other guard dogs, the alert statuses, the fake Dr. Madnar being given bad intel. No, it all stops here and now. And we are going to finish this game. Okay. Right leg. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. Left leg. Left leg. Uh, right leg. Left leg. Left leg. Right leg. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. And why is it still not picking up? There we go. There we go. Okay. I think I realized, I think each time whenever I did it, maybe I was forget. maybe this thing I have beside me isn't actually giving me the right number. Okay, now we have got to finish him off. We have got to kill the boss, big boss. Let's get through this. We've had this conversation before, and you might not be letting me leave. I'm not letting you leave. Maybe they're not doing damage. Okay, fine. You have to get him whenever he's stuck behind cover to shoot you. Oh! We killed him! We did it! Yes! We did it! Okay, okay, okay. Equip our gun. What well, we've gotten through this one. Okay, so here, here we are. Final thing. Y'all remember what he said? You remember what, what, what Jennifer's brother said at the very end? We gotta go up the ladder on the far left. I think that's what he said. I think I'm remembering that. Also, real quick, these cigarettes that we've carried with us, surgeon's warning. Cigarette smoking may be hazardous to your health. Well, today, smoking is gonna save lives, because if you equip them right now, you get an extra 2,000 seconds. So yeah, I, I could have done that back when we were fighting Big Boss, but I we, clearly we didn't need that. Holy crap, we took him out in a matter of seconds. Let's equip our bandana, equip our gun, and let's go. Let's hope we pick the right ladder. All right, all right. We're almost out of here. We're almost out. Okay, it wasn't the middle ladder. Down to just these two. Come on. Come on, the end is in sight. I can taste it. I can taste it. Okay. We're almost there. This is Solid Snake. Metal Gear has been destroyed. Operation Intrude N313 in was a success. No big deal. Job done, that's all. No big deal. I'm coming back now. Over. This is Radio KNK. We have a special news flash. Today, before sunrise, a large earthquake was recorded in the vicinity of Galsburg, South Africa. Presenting the Staff of Metal Gear. So guys, that was it. We did it. We did it. We took down Outer Heaven. We got in there. We saved Gray Fox. We got, we got Dr. Magnar. He told us how to beat Metal Gear. We destroyed Metal Gear, the first true and proper Metal Gear. At least I think the first true and proper one with two legs that was... Well, I guess the whole Thank you, multiple Metal Gear games for rooting some the lore. But then we took down Big Boss. A rookie taking down a professional like that. Game design Hideo Kojima. Congratulations, sir. You have kicked off a very influential and very important video game series with this game right here so yeah 
Yeah, that was it. That was it. But don't go anywhere quite yet. I'm gonna wait for these credits to run out, but you should stick around. Because there is a post credit scene. Can you hear me? Solid Snake, I'm not dead. Someday, I'll get even with you. Someday, we'll meet again. And that was Metal Gear. Holy crap, I beat the game in under two hours that time. Wow. Wow, okay. Only two saves, 14 continues. I'm pretty sure every single one of those, well, except for boss killing us, were holes. Alert modes, humans killed, rations used, special item used. Oh, the special item was the bandana. Code name Deer. So yeah, every Metal Gear game at the end of it, it gives you a code name that represents your rank. And you know how some games have like an A rank, B rank, C rank. I don't remember them off the top of my head. I can tell you because I played on easy mode and because it, it takes into account how often you save, how often you die, how many people you kill, how many times you're alerted. Um, and rations used, all of that plays into it. So I, I didn't do great in the grand scheme of things. I don't care, I beat the game. Uh, before we go real quick, before we end the video, Big Boss being alive just there, like you saw. So, Metal Gear Lore Time, spoilers for the Metal Gear series as a whole, but particularly Phantom Pain, um, and also Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. So, Most people, if you played Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, so in that game, you learn that the character you play as through the whole game is in fact not Big Boss, it's not Naked Snake, it's Venom Snake, a body double of Big Boss. Um, and the Big Boss you fight in this game has been retconned into being Venom Snake. So the final boss of this game is Venom Snake, the player character from MGS5. It's kind of weird. To th Actually, it's weirder than I I'm feeling kind of weird right now, thinking, okay, I'm playing as the character I played as and sunk so much time into when I played that game. But that's who we just fought to kill. So the real big boss is still alive. He's still out there, so he can come back from Metal Gear Solid 2. And supposedly, that's the whole reason Phantom Pain was made not to link together a whole bunch of stuff in the series, but specifically to explain that plot hole. You couldn't see me, I was putting big air quotes around plot hole. This is why. It was never a plot hole that Big Boss survived. That there, there was never meant to be two Big Bosses. Going back very to the second game, the sequel to this is called Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, and then after that was Metal Gear Solid. Um... In that game, you sneak into Zanzibar Land, which is basically Outer Heaven 2.0. And, spoiling that game, Dr. Madnar is there again, but he's switched sides and now he is actively choosing to help Big Boss. And in addition to building another Metal Gear, he also was able to um, help Big Boss and nurse him back to health using cybernetics. And that was always how it was intended, how Big Boss survived from this game to the next, is that Madnar got him out, and, um, or that he got out, then Madnar equipped him with cybernetic enhancements and cybernetic limbs and body parts and whatever, so that he could survive. And yes, what happened there, you'll, you might notice, I think, I have to look back, there should have been two explosions there at the end of the game. And if there's not, then I might be remembering it wrong. But what happened is, the self-destruct sequence, that obviously went off. Because that was the nuke inside the Metal Gear. But in addition to that, as soon as Snake's mission was over and they knew he was out of there, the UN, the United Nations, sent in, this is within lore, sent in a carpet bombing run to thoroughly and utterly destroy Outer Heaven. The problem is they also hit all the, you know, the rest of the surrounding countryside that's in, you know, the country that Outer Heaven was basically holding hostage. Meaning innocent people not connected with the mercenaries of Outer Heaven died. That's where Big Boss, he did survive that encounter. Somehow, before Madnar got to him, he does pull himself out of the rubble and actually starts 
helping people get out of there. Big Boss starts saving lives. One of them being Schneider, who we'll learn in the next game, actually becomes a ninja, thanks to cybernetics. So actually, he's the first cyborg ninja, Schneider, not Gray Fox. Um, and I think he's like the bl Black Ninja or something in the second game. I can't quite remember. I've never played Metal Gear 2. Scratch that. I've played it. I've never beaten it. But anyways, that was a whole big Metal Gear exp um, info dump. I've been on the screen for a while now. I'm still kind of impressed I beat this game in under two hours. Um, but yeah, that was Metal Gear for the MSX. And boy, howdy, playing through it twice was a trip um, for this series. I still, I still, I like this game. Also, you see we unlock boss survival mode, which is exactly what you think. We just fight all the different bosses of the game and see if we can make through all of them without dying. With very limited rations, limited ammo, all that good stuff. But the series is concluded, and the channel's probably go on going to go back to a little bit of a break now that we've uh, we've beaten this game. Hopefully, I'll still make some stuff off and on here and there, but nothing super consistent, not for the time being. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.